What's the first thing that grabs your attention in an app? Is it the cool design, lively colors, or maybe those eye-catching animated texts? Let me know in the comments. In this video, I will show you different types of animations that you can implement in your Flutter app using the animated text kit package of Flutter. You can see multiple examples here. Animated text kit has different types of animations to apply amazing animations on our text. First of all, add the latest version of animated text kit package and get dependencies. Inside homepage, I have three elevated buttons. First, let's try text liquid fill animations. Inside scaffold, we have an app bar, and for the body, let's wrap text liquid fill with center. It has multiple required properties. Text is its required property. Let's set it to hayfluttercom. Also set the wave color to blue accent, box background color to white, box height to 50, and some text style. Next, inside the mixed animations page, we will create all other types of text animations here. Inside the build method, let's create some text style that we will use here in this page. Inside the scaffold, we have an app bar, and for body, let's use column wrapped by single child scroll view, container, and center widgets. First, let's create a build container stateless class to use the same container with different color and child. Now let's wrap animated text kit with build container and set the color to blue. Animated text kit has multiple parameters, like animated texts is its required parameter. Animated texts parameter accepts a list of animated text widgets. Let's use rotate animated text. It has multiple properties like text, text style, duration, and some others. Let's set the text to rotate animated text, text style to text style that we defined above, and duration to three seconds. After animated texts, let's set the total repeat count to five. Next, let's use fade animated text. It also has multiple properties. Let's set the text, text style, and duration here. And after it, we are setting the total repeat count to five. Next, we are creating typer animated text with some text, text style, and speed. Pause defines the duration of the pause between texts inside animated texts parameter. Next, we are creating typewriter animated text with some text, text style, and speed. Display full text on tap ends up the animation early and displays full text if we tap on it. Next, let's create scale animated text. On tap parameter of animated text kit widget is called when we tap on it and we are simply printing a string. Next, we are creating colorized animated text with a list of colors. I have also set is repeating animation and repeat forever to true. Here we are creating wavy animated text. On finished is called when all the animation inside animated text parameter is finished. On next is a callback function. It is called when there is next count according to the total repeat count parameter. In the end, we are simply creating Flickr animated text. All these types of animations inside this page are a little bit different from text liquid fill animations. For text liquid fill, we don't need to wrap it with animated text kit widget, but for others, we have to wrap all of them with it. In the last, let's build some complex animations using this package and implicit animations of Flutter inside advanced text animations. Inside this page, let's use stack for body. For the first child, let's use rotate animated text with some text style. Let's define text style here because we will use this text style inside our whole page. Next, we want to wrap this animated text kit with container and animated positioned to give it different positions. Therefore, let's create build animated positioned stateless widget here. We are making child and color parameters required and height, top, left parameters optional. Inside it, we are creating a container with some decoration wrapped by animated positioned to change its position. For the first child, let's wrap this animated text kit with build animated positioned and set the top property to 70 and color to green accent. Next, let's use animated text kit widget wrapped by default text style to give text styles to more than one texts. Let's use four typer animated text widgets inside its animated texts parameter and then wrap default text style with build animated positioned widget. Set the top parameter to top one variable and color to transparent. Let's initialize top one parameter before build function and set it to 200. Let's also initialize some other parameters as we will use them later. Next, we are using simple text and animated text kit together in a row. Let's wrap default text style with build animated positioned widget and set the top parameter to top two, color to red, and height to 200. Now we want to show this complete container three seconds after opening this page. Therefore, we have defined this show animation boolean flag and make it true after a delay of three seconds inside init state. Then we are making a check if show animation boolean flag is true, then show this container, otherwise show an empty container. After hot restart, if we open this page, there is no third container. And then here it comes three seconds after opening this page. 
Now, we want to exchange the position of the second and third container when the animation of the third container is completed. For this, we can use the onFinished property and exchange the values of top one and top two variables. Now, after hot restart, when the red container's text animation is completed, it goes up, and meanwhile, the transparent container comes down. In the end, we are using typewriter animated text and wrapping the default text style with build animated positioned widget. We are setting top to 500, color to indigo, height to 400, and left parameter to left that we have defined above the build method. Now, we want to animate this container to come from the right side in the meanwhile when the second and third containers are exchanging their positions. For this, before the build function, here we have set the value of left to 500. And then in the unfinished callback of this third container whose color is red, set the left value to zero inside set state. After hot restart, when three seconds are completed, the second and third container exchange their position. And meanwhile, this last container with indigo color comes from the right side. If you see this text is animating before the container appears here on the right side, we want the container to begin animating this text when the third container's text animation ends. To fix this issue, I have set type variable to false, and then set it to true inside the onFinished callback of the third container. And now, before the default text style, we check here. If the type flag is true, then show animation of text, otherwise show empty text in the container. So we have done it all. If you found this Flutter animation tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more exciting Flutter content.